Hey little moment friends, Andang here for another episode of the epic story. When we last left off, we were getting ready to of course go into another session play with Glywine's map. So let's go ahead and go on into, I believe it's the fourth one. Yes, the fourth interlude, Halros's Watch. Alright. Your eye is drawn west across the map, beyond the borders of Rohan, and comes to rest upon the rocky hills of Dunland. You wonder what has become of Halros and the Grey Company since you left them. So let's go ahead and go on into that. And if you're wondering why I have a webcam, I did make a video explaining all that stuff. Meanwhile in Dunland, Halros has been awakened for his shift at Night Watch. Okay. Let's go ahead and go on into this thing. I really do enjoy these interludes. I think they add quite a lot. They allow us to see what's going on with the rangers without having to Meanwhile, actually go and Dunland, see. Meanwhile, in Dunland, Horos of the Dunedain has been woken for his turn at the watch. Alright, first of all, we're going to turn off world chat, which I know you probably can't even see because the webcam covers it up, but that's definitely first thing. Alright, layout, load, UI. There we go. Got a standardized UI, and we can go ahead and go on and talk. I'm sorry to wake you, Halros, but it is time for your watch to begin. These last few hours have been quiet, and it was a struggle at times to keep my eyes open. I will be glad of the sleep. There is a good place to watch among the trees just to the west. I will show you this way all right a bunch of sleeping rangers what's the worst thing that could happen they're probably doing more while they're asleep than while they're awake right here Haros, among these trees I'm going to go run to bed forget trying to actually fall to sleep right away but I'm gonna run to bed instead of walking back leisurely for the first hour of your watch, nothing moves. In the second hour of your watch, you fight boredom. In the third hour of your watch, you worry about the Shire you left behind. In the fourth hour of your watch, did something move? I'm pretty sure something moved. Look behind the tree, buddy. Investigate your uneasy feeling that the announcer guy totally inflicted upon you. Oh, there's actually an enemy over here. That's not good. Hey. I'm gonna fight you. I'm definitely not gonna go back to the other rangers and tell them, hey, you know, something's going on. We're just gonna fight the scout. Which, I mean, does make sense because you don't want the scout to know your location, but what if the scout kills you? Then, all those sleeping rangers can be killed by the Dunlandings. That was a Falcon Clan scout! The camp is about to be attacked! Alright, wake up your friends, blah blah blah. Everybody wake up, it's time. Haros, what has happened? What's going on? I am ready. Haros, what is it? Danger? What's going on? What? <laughs> Haros, what have you seen? Are we in danger? Good eye, Haros. We can prepare before our foes are upon us. I thought this would happen one of these nights. We may not have much time before the Falcon Clan strikes. You three slip down the hill to the side and see if you can approach our attacker from behind. Haros, Prestadir, come with me and we will see if they can listen to reason. Yeah, because they're trying to scout attack us. You three find out the numbers of our foes. Show yourselves, Falcons. 
Even sleeping Dunedain cannot be surprised by the likes of you. I doubt that. So it would seem. When you were imprisoned in the caves, my father showed you mercy. I will not make the same mistake. Kill them, my warriors! Great. What's this skill? Love of the Shire, increase morale. Great. That's actually a good skill. What is she doing? She's just like walking back and forth. Okay, crazy lady. Can you just be patrolling for no apparent reason? What is she doing? To me, my warriors! This is... What? Whatever. That's the weirdest thing. I don't know if that's actually how that's supposed to work. I think that might be glitched out. I hope that's glitched out. Okay, we get it. We DPS, yada yada. Oh, more, great. Kill them, kill them, kill them. Yeah, whatever. Let's actually help these guys first. ridiculous thing I've ever seen. What? She's literally walking through me. I will not return to my father in disgrace. Better to die here than return in failure. Right. Maybe you should start by fighting when it's time to fight. It is over. Farewell, Maya. Your father will join you soon. There is no honor to be had by attacking a sleeping foe. But we should have expected nothing else from the Falcon Clan. Mare learned that tonight, to her sorrow, learned that tonight to her sorrow. We have not repaid Lou Brennan and the Falcon Clan for our losses, not by a wide throw. But we have shown them our claws. We have all fortunate. We are all fortunate you have such alert senses, Hauros. I am glad you journeyed south with us, for this reason and many others. Look, dawn breaks. Your vigil for the night is ended. Let us break our fast and see to the coming of the day. Interlude completed, Hauros's watch. When she was just patrolling around like that, that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Like, at least stab the ranger in the back while you're going behind, I mean... I completely do not understand that even remotely. It makes no sense. But whatever. All right, so thanks, Glowine, for that. Of course we're not going to do the Wilder Moor quest. That'd be crazy. Doing an actual side quest on this character? That would ruin all the rules. All right, so we need to collect stolen heirlooms from the orcs, of course, and free horses, and defeat other stuff. Should be easy enough. 
So away we go. Maybe. But yeah, I really do enjoy those interludes. I think that they add quite a lot. Okay. So we have to go way over there and way over there. Hmm. Well, luckily that's not that far on a war steed. It has been so long since I've played this character. I'm thinking at the very least March during spring break or maybe even all the way back at Christmas. And so hopefully I still remember how to play. I had a lot of pre-recorded episodes that have uh, run out, finally. And uh, also you're probably noticing that, hey, there's a webcam. I'd made a video all about that. It's called updates and upgrades or maybe vice versa. But uh, it will let you know about all of this new stuff if you're curious. Or if not, then just know that there's a webcam now. Alright. And if you really don't like it, let me know. And if enough people say that, and you know it's clearly a majority, then I'll definitely switch back. But so far people seem to like the webcam in my other series, so... Hopefully that is the same here. Right, stolen heirlooms from the orcs. Well, orcs, you shall not have stolen heirlooms anymore. Tell you what. Alright, so let's start out. Oh, can't do that while moving. Oh, we forgot to summon hairball. Whoops. And uh, I just realized hairball's stuff is all behind there. I'm not gonna worry about it though. It's because I reload the LI. Or the LI, the UI. And I went into that session play, which apparently messes up everything. Oh well. Once we're done with these interludes, I'll try to fix it. But uh, till then, not worried about it. Not like I need to typically press buttons for hairball, but now of course I probably am. And I should be healing. Now that combat's over. <laughs> Alright, we show Kirzimo. At least that one. One more heirloom, and then we're good to go. Okay. So now we have to free hostages. Or horses, rather. Hostages, my goodness. Could you imagine if orcs took hostages, how crazy that would be? It'd be a very different world in Middle-earth. Ah, oh, they're over here. Of course. Alright, and now we need to defeat the boss. He's apparently also here. Yeah, just go for it, Airball. Why not? Okay, so let's see. Foshnu or Kritar in Brightor. I have not found one of these people yet. So that's kind of a problem. We're out 
the area now. Okay, here, well, let's get you out of trouble. Let's go ahead and fight this one, too. Just to get out of the way. While we look around. There we go. And just to make sure, yeah, it's not, not anything in there. Where is this boss? Do we have to do something special to summon them? Uh, da 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 da, you've learned. Hmm. I guess we just haven't run into them yet. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. I'll help this person out. Then we'll take on the boss. We have minstrel help. There we go. You save the other one for Yama when she is healthy enough for vengeance. Okay. Good to know. All right. Well, I think that that does end it for this episode. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching another episode of The Epic Story. When we return, we will, of course, be going back to Nona in hopes of maybe possibly keeping the party together for once because we've just completely fallen apart with this whole love triangle of craziness. So hopefully we can get everything back together and save the party and the quest. But till next time, thank you everyone so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of The Epic Story. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button below. And if you'd like to see more of my daily content, feel free to subscribe, and you'll be notified when that new content comes out. And also, if you'd like to help support my channel and help me continue to create high-quality videos, feel free to support me on Patreon, and you can get all sorts of great rewards in the process. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another video.